Running out of Google Drive storage? Forget the usual just delete files advice and I'll show you the real ways to get more storage fast. Let's dive in. As you can see the storage is 88% full and that's not good, you want more. So what you're going to want to do is rather than pressing the get more storage and paying with more money, I want it to be free for you. So what you're going to do is go back, press settings and then settings again and then you'll see these pages. And when you can see here, you can see view items taken up storage. But if you scroll down there may be some settings you can change but it won't do that much. So I'm going to show you what you actually should do. So press view files taken up storage and then when you see here you can see Google Photos is taking some storage, Gmail is, so it's not just Google Drive basically. So if you press clean up space or get more storage, preferably clean up space, it will bring you to this page. And as you can see I've got 11 gigabytes of large files, 200 megabytes of emails with large attachments. So you could just delete them emails and ta-da you get 200 megabytes just like that. At the start of the video I promise I won't just say to just delete file advice, I'm going to actually tell you how to get more storage. So stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do that. If you have some spare Google accounts or ones that you can create this will be really Really good for this method because I'm not going to just tell you to go on this Google account and you can put your files here but what you're going to do on another Google account is press file folder and then just name it how much gigabytes you have left so on this account it's a fresh account so I have 15 gigabytes left so I can just press that and then create then what you're going to want to do is find it then you want to press share and then when you press share press share again and what you're going to want to do is type the email of the account that's your main account so I'm typing my email on the main account and then when you do that you just want to press on it and then press done and you make sure you're your editor. Then when you are done you want to go back to your main account and you want to press shared with me and as you can see the 15 gigabytes are right there and then all you have to do is either drag a folder on this or drag a file in this or you can press new. So I'm going to do that right now. As you can see I'm adding a file right now and it's going to go on the folder and as you can see it's in the folder and my file storage went from 13.27 to 13.27 so nothing changed and as you can see you can do this as many times as you want and you can even name it different folders so you have one folder for work, one for school, you can name it work, 15 gigabytes or something like that. Also, as you can see, this is an even another account. I have another 15 gigabytes here, so you can do this as many times as you want with as many accounts. So as you can see, I'm doing the same thing, 15 gigabytes, create and share. When you've done the process all over again, you can see another 15 gigabytes. So it's my two gigabytes on this account plus another 30 gigabytes, which goes crazy. If you don't want to do any of these methods, then you can do a file compressor and this reduces the storage of all your files on your thing. So you can go from something like 20 gigabytes to even one.